Imagine Jane contracts to use John for all of her lawn care needs over the next year. When Jane's neighbor, also in the lawn care business, learns of the contract, he offers Jane a better rate and convinces her to break her contract with John and use him instead. The neighbor's conduct is distasteful, but does it give John a legal cause of action against him? In White Plains Coat and Apron Company v. Sintas Corporation, we explore tort liability for interference with contract. White Plains Coat and Apron Company, a New York linen rental business, had five-year exclusive service contracts with various customers. Sintas Corporation, a nationwide business that also rented linens, enticed many of those customers to do business with Sintas during the exclusivity periods, causing the customers to breach their contracts. White Plains sued Sintas in federal district court, alleging that Sintas was liable for tortious interference with contract under New York law because it knew of the customer's contracts with White Plains and nonetheless induced them to breach those contracts. Sintas moved for summary judgment, arguing that it wasn't aware of the customer's contracts. The district court granted summary judgment in Sintas's favor, holding that because Sintas was in the same industry, it had a legitimate interest in soliciting business and making a profit, giving it an economic justification defense to liability. White Plains appealed to the Second Circuit, which concluded there was an open question as to whether, under New York law, a generalized economic interest in soliciting business for profit was a defense to tortious interference with contract. It therefore certified that question to the New York Court of Appeals, the state's highest court.